All right, happy new year. Uh, for today's video, we're gonna start taking a look at a few of the core class figures from Legacy United. This is Transformers Legacy United Infernac Universe Boulder Crash. Uh, another one of the uh, the rock guys that they're starting to do for the uh, the modulator gimmick here. And just like uh, in previous uh, years where they did, I guess fossilizers were the only other one that they did a core class, uh, you know, like mold for. But just like with the fossilizers, um, this one doesn't really do the whole like modulator gimmick. It, I mean, it kind of has like a little weapon mode, but for the most part, it's just sort of a regular core class figure that's just sort of, you know, in theme with the larger deluxe modulators. Um, but yeah, you know, in Fernac universe, I kind of explained that a little bit in in, uh, in Magnus's video, but basically it's from the Inhumanoids brand, which is another, you know, series of toys that Hasbro had uh, a while ago. And uh, yeah, no, it's a, it's a nice little vehicle mode. I really kind of like the aesthetic of this vehicle mode in comparison to, uh, to Magnus. Just like, I like Magnus's vehicle mode, but I do like that this one is a little bit more sort of like alien just because these guys are supposed to not really necessarily have any interaction with Earth. They're supposed to be just like another transforming alien species, I guess. So it makes a bit more sense for the, uh, the vehicle mode to be a little bit weird rather than just like a truck covered in rocks but still you know it's a it's a neat little vehicle mode you might prefer one over the other but i, I personally prefer this aesthetic but yeah rolls nicely uh has that nice blade on the top there just to add a flash of color uh in terms of comparisons in this mode uh just for the standard one here he is with kingdom sideswipe and then here he is with the uh the infernac universe uh magnius there just so you can see what the two of them look like together as you can see like this one clearly looks like like an earth truck covered in rocks whereas this looks like kind of its own thing uh which i don't know i, I kind of prefer it. it makes me i think it makes me get the vibes a bit more of uh, of this the uh, the rock lords uh vehicle i forget what that's called but stone wing something like that but you know kind of more the same vibe of like oh it's just some weird sort of abstract rocky vehicle rather than like an earth vehicle covered in rocks if that makes sense but still that's what those look like together uh and for another rock lords comparison here he is with uh with uh magmar who i guess is the one that he's got the most similar color scheme to at least that's how i thought in images at first but he really turned out a bit more red so maybe i should be showing him off with uh brimstone is that the the red one i can't remember but uh either way here he is with a rock lord <laughs> appropriate or not uh and for another core class comparison here he is with a uh, core class iguanus just so you can see him with another sort of abstract bike core class figure um but yeah to get onto transformation his weapon is just this bit on top here oh i guess i should show off the weapon mode pretty much all you do for the weapon mode is just take this blade section and flip it forward till it clicks and then he's got a a, a peg in the back here so you could bring on a figure like chase although chase's arm panels kind of get in the way but you can have him hold him as a sword even though the actual blade of the sword is way up here and like half of that sword is covered by the wheel it's not a good weapon mode i don't think <laughs> it's pretty much just like the vehicle mode with the blade kind of haphazardly stuck off the top of it but it's a thing that you can do so eh, whatever um but yeah the uh the whole weapon bit does just kind of untab right here it just kind of tabs into these two bits and then slots over the arm joint so to start off transformation you pretty much just take this bit off um and then what you want to do is take the uh, the legs they'll untab from this armature section in the middle and kind of unfold them at the knee and then this is kind of an annoying part of the transformation but you have to rotate around the waist but because this piece is so like static in place you have to like rotate it like you know halfway with the legs like this and then fold them up like this and then keep rotating it's just stuff kind of bumps into each other it's not like difficult to do it's just like not as you know smooth a motion as i'd like but eh, whatever uh, and then you can take this entire top section here and just rotate it around like that take this little piece and then fold that onto his chest and then take these uh the arms which are also just tabbed into this long section here and then flip them around like that and then we can take uh, the section with the wheel and just flip it onto the back till it kind of clicks into place. And there we have Boulder Crash in his robot mode. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a cute little robot mode. I really like the head sculpt. I really like you know again just same with Magnus. I like all the sculpted and painting detail painted detail that makes him look all like rocky. He also has like sort of like you know lava lines kind of going through him which i think is a a neat vibe. I, I don't really love that this thing is just hanging out on his back, especially because like. It's not 
super integral to the vehicle mode. Like if they had just made it so the legs tab together, it would have been close to just as stable. And this is really all just facilitating the peg on the back so it can be held as like a dumb looking sword. So kind of wish they'd done that differently so that this wasn't just kind of like hanging out in the back and like, you know, static off of the back, like it can't even move. Um, which is a bit annoying, but eh, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's just not great. Uh, and likewise, um, the, you know, the thing that one thing that I had as a big complaint about Magnus is same complaint with, uh, with Boulder Crash here is that, uh, you know, he can hold his weapon and he, and he looks fairly cool doing it, but, uh, there's just nowhere to put it. Cool. I mean, this is, that's even worse for him because this is actually part of the vehicle mode. So there's a couple places you can put it. Like you could just peg it in back where it was, but then it's like, you know, sticking off like even more as a backpack and he can't really stand up. Uh, the one thing that I have found, I have no idea if this was like an intentional design choice or not, but um, if you flip this up, it does have a little tab here, which kind of, you know, tabbed in between the arms and vehicle mode, which does fit in this long sort of, you know, like hollow groove here. So if you get it at the very top of that groove like this, um, it still does stick off a little bit at the bottom. Actually, is it better? Yeah, no, it's better this way. Um, yeah, it sticks up a little bit less if you put it on that way. Uh, and then you just have to kind of like fold that down, not all the way, but just over the blade there. And, uh, you can get him standing where that's not touching the ground and it just kind of becomes part of the backpack. Again, it's still pretty egregious and it's a huge part of the backpack and it, you know, doesn't add to the problem of this thing sticking off the back and it does stick down a little bit further, but that's good enough, I guess. I mean, for a core class figure, but again, I don't even really think that that was like, an intentional part of the design. I think that that was just sort of like happenstantial that that fit on like that. And I just wish that there was some way to like at least, you know, plug it on like that. So I feel like that would be like the cleanest way to uh, to do it um, so that this could still be sitting down all the way and it wasn't like poking off the end of this thing that already sticks too far off the end of his back. But yeah, it's doable. At least there is a place that I have found to put it, unlike Magnus. But um, yeah, still not great. And I hope that that's not a continuing trend with these rock guys of just like not having any sort of priority towards having robot mode storage for their weapons, because that's something that always drives me nuts. But eh, whatever, we can just put that off to the side for now and get on to articulation. The head is on a ball joint and has a pretty good range here. It's on a kind of an angle, so you can look down a good a good portion, but you can't really look up because you kind of have to like bend the head up just to have them looking forward. Um, shoulders are on ball joints, which can rotate around like that. Uh, go out to the side only about that far. He's got ball joints at the elbows, which gives him a, a bicep swivel and a bit over 90 degrees of bend there. Uh, he's got a waist cut for transformation, though, like I said, you know, you kind of end up running into this thing at a certain point, which is a bit annoying, um, but, you know, it is there. Uh, hips are on ball joints, which can go forward and back and out to the side. He's got ball joints at the uh, the knees as well, which gives him a bicep or bicep, a uh, thigh swivel and then uh, a bit over 90 degrees of bend at the knee and then nothing at the feet. They're just static in place. They're just blocks. So, you know, pretty decent articulation. Again, the the one thing that kind of gets in the way of his transformation is really just the the, the big bit in the back there. He's a little bit kibbly for a, uh, for a figure that didn't necessarily have to turn into anything specific. <laughs> it just seems like, you know, it's like, okay, I get when they've got an A and a B that they're trying to get between like why they end up with kibble or why they end up cheating or whatever, right? But if it's like a completely new design, like, hey, guys, just like just design it so it, you know, doesn't do that because you don't have any limitations on what the vehicle mode looks like. But whatever, I don't, that's probably not really how it works in the design process. Like they still have to, you know, work off concept art and stuff like that. But still, it's just it's always a little bit baffling to me. Um, but yeah, in terms of comparisons in this mode. Here he is again with Kingdom Sideswipe, just for that standard size deluxe comparison. And with Kingdom, he, uh, not Kingdom, whatever he was in, Legacy, the first year of Legacy, I think. Yeah, uh, Iguanus, just so you can see what he looks like with another average size core class figure. Pretty much stacks up with the normal, you know, core scale there. Uh, here he is again with Magnus, just so you can see what he looks like with the other uh, Infernac universe guy. And I think that they look pretty cool together. You know, I've got a few gripes about these guys, but for the most part, I think that this is a, a cool sort of, you know, sub theme within the uh, Legacy United uh, line. And I'm excited to see more of them. And then here he is. Ooh. 
drop and stuff. Here he is with uh, with Magmar again, and why not also with uh, with Brimstone, who just fell over there a little bit. So you can see he's kind of in between the two of them in terms of color scheme. But uh, yeah, no, pretty neat. I think he still kind of fits in with the Rock Lords. But uh, yeah, not a, not a whole lot else to say about this figure. Uh, he's all right. He's just, you know, got a few things about him that I think, you know, could have been handled a little bit better, like the way that the weapon integrates, the way that this bit kind of sticks off the back. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I, I still really like him. I still think he's fun. And at least, it, you know, if you wanted to, you could just be like, oh, he's just got a blade arm. But, you know, I, I, it does stick out further than his feet. So his elbow is ha always has to be bent. So I, I prefer, you know, this having the place to store. And at least it does have somewhere where it can go, even if it's a little bit messy. But um, yeah, that, that puts him one step above, uh, <laughs> above Magnus in that regard. But still, uh, you know, I, I just hope that they give a little bit more, more priority towards that in the future with designing the uh, the next versions of these guys. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to them. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Make sure to check me out on my Instagram account. That's toys.n.art. And without further ado, here we have Transformers Legacy United Infernac Universe Boulder Crash.